Welcome to Chemo Experts to learn about fatigue. We will discuss what is it, what does it look like, who gets it, and how do we treat it. Fatigue is the feeling of general weakness and lack of energy throughout the day. Fatigue can range from mild to severe. Fatigue can be so severe that you're too tired to even get out of bed. Fatigue is the most common side effect from cancer treatment. Cancer-related fatigue is also the most distressing symptom for patients. And it's not usually related to recent vigorous physical activity. If concerned, ask your doctor to take a fatigue rating scale so that you can see how fatigued you are. Knowing your fatigue score can help identify if the fatigue is mild, moderate, severe, identify causes, and measure if interventions aimed at reducing fatigue are working. Cancer-related fatigue is different from everyday fatigue in several ways. It is more severe, lasts longer, and does not get better with sleep or rest. It can often have an effect on the simplest activities of daily living, such as going to the bathroom, eating, maintaining personal hygiene, or socializing with family and friends. Most people with cancer experience some fatigue. However, cancer-related fatigue can be complicated, as it may involve mood swings, depression, confusion, difficulty concentrating, or difficulty sleeping. It's important to talk with your doctor if you are experiencing fatigue, as there may be many contributing factors and each need to be investigated. Patients with cancer experience fatigue for many different reasons. These include medications, poor sleep habits, poor diet, anemia, the cancer itself, and lack of exercise. Because there are so many causes, they should each be investigated in an orderly manner. Patients who receive aggressive chemotherapy and radiation may experience fatigue due to the harsh effects that chemotherapy can have on the body. Good sleep hygiene may help you to feel more rested. This includes avoiding naps, going to sleep and waking at the same time, and avoid watching television in bed. A diet that does not contain enough fruits and vegetables can also make you more tired. Remember, it's not always what you eat, but what you're not eating that's important too. Fatigue may be worsened by a lack of sleep, uncontrolled pain or stress, or common medications that cause drowsiness such as Benadryl. Fatigue may be worsened if you have anemia, as this lowers the body's ability to deliver oxygen. Cancer itself can cause fatigue due to organ damage, decreased appetite, increased metabolism, or hormonal changes. It is important to note that cancer survivors can continue to experience fatigue long after chemotherapy is completed. Exercise is the best way to improve your energy levels. It can increase energy levels and elevate mood and the feeling of well-being. Do not start an exercise routine without speaking with your doctor first. You may also need to work with a physical therapist to build up enough strength to safely exercise on your own. If possible, address any factors contributing to fatigue, such as pain, quality of sleep, and reducing the amount of stressors in your life. Which medications work for cancer-related fatigue? Pills such as methylphenidate or Ritalin, or modafinil or Provigil, have been tried but clinical trials have not shown a benefit in everyone. These stimulant medications are usually reserved for patients with metastatic disease. Fatigue can make tasks seem much harder than usual. We hope this video helps you identify and reverse causes of fatigue. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and tell us what you think. Click pause now to read our disclaimer and thank you for watching.